podcast. So today's video is kind of an exciting one. It is a recreation of James Charles's Unleash Your Inner Artist eye look. And I decided on this look because I received my Morphe X James Charles palette today. And I really wanted to do something colorful. And I was gonna do um, a different like rainbow eye look that I had in mind and I will do that soon. I just thought I'd recreate his first look using his palette on his channel as my first look. Um, but yeah, so if you like to see how I did this look, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna start off with priming my eyelids with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm using this because um, I heard that this works best with the eyeshadows. Now taking this beauty, the first shade we'll be working with is Escape, which is this dark purple right here. And that is gonna go into our outer V. And kind of like a wing, like we're doing a wing look. That's what it's gonna be. Now we're gonna go into the shade Single, which is this lighter shade, and just place that right over top and kind of blend out that Escape shade. Now going into the yellow shade called B, we're gonna place that in our inner corner and kind of bring it down to like our nose contour area. Then going into the shade You're Kidding, which is this bright red shade, we're gonna place that right in the middle. Now going into the shade 518, which is this neon orange shade. I'm gonna place that in between the red and yellow. Now for this gap in between the colors, we're going into the shade Skip, which is this hot pink shade. And just gonna blend that. Now going into a little bit more of that escape and single shade, we're just gonna place that in our outer V and kind of just blend all this together and give us some more dimension. With no additional product, we're just gonna go ahead and take a clean blending brush and just blend out where skip and single meet. Okay, now we're going to take a tiny bit of black, which is this spooky shade, and place that right in our outer V and just blend that out. And this is just going to give us some more dimension. Okay. Going back into that escape shade, I'm just gonna pat on some more of this purple. Now I'm gonna go ahead and carve my crease. So I'm just taking a really, really light concealer to carve out my crease. And I'm just gonna do a half cut crease. I'm taking more of that Escape and Single shade. I'm just gonna pat that on the edge. Now we're just gonna set down that white concealer with the shade Flashback, which is obviously this white 
shade and this shade is super pigmented like it's crazy pigmented so we're just gonna go ahead and set that now i'm gonna spray my brush and then we're gonna go into the shade acapella which is this metallic blue shade and place that right kind of in the center in a way um and just pat that in just to help blend it better into the shade Cola, which is this dark blue shade. We're gonna place that right in between the purple and the metallic blue shade, just to help blend it. Now for the last shade, I'm going into the light metallic blue called Hello. And then we're just gonna place that right in front of Acapella. Okay, and I know in James's video, he added like some glitter and chunky glitter and all that. I'm not gonna do that um, just because I don't really have like the chunky glitter, but um, I kind of like the all matte rainbow look. So I'm not gonna do that. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a winged liner. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tight line. For lashes, I'm taking the Lashaholic lashes in Instagram. And while the glue dries, I'm just going to apply a small, a thin layer of mascara. Now for our lower lash line, I'm gonna take the shade Brother, which is this like blue, I wanna say like periwinkle kind of in a way, um, shade, and that's gonna go in the outer corner of our lower lash line. the shades social blade which is this green lime green shade and place that in the inner third I'm just gonna line my waterline with a white I'm just going to apply a coat of mascara. Now I'm just going to take it a step forward and mix the shade You're Kidding and Rusty. And I'm going to use that as a blush. That's pigmented, but so pretty. Then for highlight, I'm gonna take the shade Face and put that on my cheekbones. Now I don't think 
did a brow bone highlight, but I'm gonna take the shade Ring Light and just place that on my brow bone. And also as my inner corner highlight. I'm seriously so obsessed with this highlight. Like it might be a little too light for my skin tone, but it is gorgeous. Okay, so that completes the eye look. Um, I seriously love it. And this palette is amazing. Um, the colors were super pigmented, as you can tell, and they blended out really nicely. Like I didn't have a hard time blending, um, which is really good for like a super colorful palette. Um, I did use the paint pot as my primer today because I did hear that um, these shadows stick better to it, um, but I've also heard that it really doesn't make a difference how you prime your eyes. Um, but yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.